So this is the first part in a three-part series on how to use Hydra. Hydra is a password cracking tool. I will show you in this part how to install it, the basic syntax and the types of password cracking that's available. So for installation, I will start with Ubuntu. Ubuntu has an APT package called Hydra-GTK. You can just run APT install Hydra-GTK and it will do it. So this takes some time. So while this is working, we are gonna move on to Kali. Kali has, uh, already has Hydra available by default. So you can just run a Hydra-H in a Kali installation and it will just work. And then finally, uh, you can also run Docker commands. So in this example, we run the Docker uh, a container Hydra, and then you can just run commands in, like Hydra H. You run this, and this will work, right? So while Ubuntu is finishing, we can move on to the basic syntax. So within the basic syntax, uh, essentially the basic command is Hydra followed by some command line options, followed by possibly the port number. And then essentially important information like what, what, uh, which host are you targeting? What protocol are you targeting? And then some possible module options depending on what protocol you're using. So in terms of protocol, it has a lot of options. This is just a small subset of them, but it has support for many things like FTP, Telnet, SSH. But also some of the lesser, uh, like used ones like TeamSpeak and Cisco AAA. Uh, then for the target, we specify the target that we want to attack. This can include, for example, a single target on the command line, so put your IP or a DNS address. It can also include a network range, so you can specify like this, this essentially IP address with uh, submasked with 24. But you can also provide a list of hosts in the text file and then include them, uh, well, yeah, w within the command. So Hydra is now done here. So I can just very quickly show you that you can easily run Hydra-H and it will just work. So then uh, what you can also specify is the port. So the Hydra will by default use the ports that are logical with certain verticals, so 22 for SSH, etc. But you can override them and provide a custom port. It also has IPv6 for port. However, note that you need to include the dash six flag to be able to do that. So in terms of password cracking, there's four main options. You have single password, essentially you just go towards a host with a certain uh, with a certain protocol and you just specify this is my username, this is my password. So this is for if you know the username and password. You can provide a list of password combinations, so username password combinations, and then it will run all of them against the host and see which one works. You can also run a dictionary tag, so you essentially give it a list of users and a list of passwords and then it will run every possible user password combination and then finally, you can do a brute force mode where it's just going to try every single password. So you essentially can specify the minimum and maximum length of the password, and you can specify what types of characters should be included in the password. So for example, if you use one free A, it generates all passwords between the length of one and three, which only consists out of lowercase letters. Two and five of slash generates all length passwords from two to five only containing slashes. And you can also do five, eight, A1, and it generates all passwords from length five to eight which uses both uppercase letters and numbers 